In this video, I'm going to discuss even and odd functions, and then I'm going to discuss those topics further, specifically in relationship to the cosine and the sine. And I guess we're a little out of order. Um, our trigonometry review is in section 1.3, but at the same time, trigonometry is a prerequisite for this course. So I trust that you know what the sine and the cosine are. We'll start with even functions. Functions. A function is even if f of x equals f of negative x for all x in the domain. And we'll make the observation that even functions are symmetric over the y axis. And as an example of an even function, in fact, the example that gives these things their name, f of x equals x to an even power. Say f of x equals x squared. f of negative x is negative x squared. Squaring gets rid of the negative sign. So this is positive x squared. And you see f of x equals f of negative x. And in terms of symmetry, think Oh, I say that this is symmetric over the y-axis. Think of the y-axis as being a mirror. And if you have a point over here on one side of the mirror, the point to a four, its reflection is the point two comma neg, sorry, it's not, it's the point negative two comma four. And you see this point and its reflection over the y-axis are both on the curve. And that's true for every point on the graph, like this point here. Its reflection over the y-axis is also on the graph. And the really important thing to know for our purposes is this second example f of x equals the cosine of x is even. That is to say, if we have the cosine of negative x, that's the same as having the cosine of now, a function is odd, moving on to our second definition, if f of negative x equals negative f of x. And the example that gives odd functions their name, f of x equals x raised to an odd power. For example, f of x equals x cubed. 
if you look at f of negative x, that's negative x cubed. The negative sign cubed will still be negative, and that's negative x cubed. X cubed is f of x. So this is negative f of x. Odd functions have symmetry, just like even functions do. You might think that if even functions are symmetric around the y-axis, odd functions will be symmetric around the x-axis. That is incorrect. Odd functions are said to be symmetric over the origin. which means if you think of this line y equals negative x as being a mirror, and you take this part of the curve and you reflect it over the mirror, you get this part of the curve and vice versa. If you take this part of the curve, reflect it over this mirror, you get this part of the curve. And for the purposes of this class, the Im really important example to know is that the sine of x is odd. That is to say the sign of negative x is negative the sign of x. And that's real quick, just run back to Desmos. I've stated two equalities. I've said that the cosine of negative x is the cosine of x. And you see here's the cosine of negative x. Here's the cosine of x, same graph. And I've said that the sine of negative x is negative the sine of x. And he, that's true, we can see it. Here's the sine of negative x. Here's negative the sine of x. They're the same graph.